So here we have the aqua resin hard coat being applied to the EPS foam. Um, and we're using veil to uh, strengthen the integrity as well. So what I did was I actually kind of retrofit or custom fitted. I custom fitted uh, at the shape that I wanted and kind of accounted for the, the slack that I'm going to need to fit to the form. I find that that helps opposed to draping it over. Um, it gives you, it reduces the, the wrinkles basically that you're going to have to sand out later. So the first step to this now that I got my shape, so I'm going to apply the hard coat. And in this process, I like to have the hard coat a little bit thinner. So it spreads nice and easy. And I find if you rush this process, you're going to have a lot of drips that you don't find until later on that can maybe drip around your overall shape. So you're going to have to sand out, so that's something that you're going to have to think about. So now that we've moved on from our first stage and applied the aqua hard coat to our sculpt, what I like to do is have an anchor point with some T-pins and kind of have that holding your, your, uh, your veil in place so when you go and apply it, it doesn't shift around on you. That's kind of a key thing. And uh, so you kind of lay it down, get it fitted on there how you'd like. And plus it gives you a point to where you can kind of stop working and you have slack to work from, if that makes any sense. Makes sense to me, I'm sure it doesn't. So I don't try to push too hard, but I try to pat it and just get it generally on there. Now, I prefer to work from the top to bottom. That's just my preference. So just starting right below our anchor point, I like to put it in that crease because that will also serve as an anchor. And I kind of dab it in at first, so I don't try to brush it on. I just get it on there, a nice little healthy coat. And the same thing down here. I'll try to get that anchor point in a little bit and get that kind of prep. And then after that, you're off. Just be really gentle. You don't want to pull too hard. Blot it and be gentle. Blot it and be gentle. That's the key. So now that we've applied our, our aqua resin hard coats to one side, and you have other things to do, or you want to do some sanding, or whatever have you, this stuff dries relatively quick depending on your mix, uh, if, how, however much you put A or B into your mix. But regardless, it's going to dry very quickly. For example, this side was applied about three hours ago, and I, it's already been wet sanding, as you can see. So it won't take very long, especially if I put a fan in front of the wet side, that I could do some sanding. Otherwise, I would get another veil uh, lined up, which I need to cut a shape for this. Uh, that would be my next step and just repeat the process, so, which I have one more side to do. And after that, this whole sh general shape will be uh, covered and coated with uh, the aqua resin hard co coat and the veil with one solid uh, layer. And that will really serve some good structural, structural integrity for the prop.
So there you have it.